spin my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we have Blackout on deck. So we're going to be talking about the new additions to the Blackout map and the map update. Now a couple of days ago, if you guys weren't informed, Neymar Jr., the soccer player, professional soccer player, that he went on stream. Now it's not unpopular for, you know, sports stars. A lot of people, you know, rappers, sports stars, everybody, they tend to, if they like Call of Duty, they have a history with Call of Duty, they enjoy playing the game in the past. You know, usually Call of Duty ask them, you know, hey, do you want to play the game? You want to come out? You, know, you want to test it out? You want to live stream it? You know, so he, he was on stream, but before that, he went live. I forgot what social media platform he went live on, but he went live and he said, uh, you know, he was taking, he, you can see the images behind him in the back, and uh, behind him there was a hijacked poster. Um, and so a lot of rumors and leaks went around the internet for a little bit, and they were, uh, you know, talking about, hey, is hijack going to be a map thing? Is hijack going to be a returning map? Is hijack going to be in blackout? And today, we got kind of a teaser trailer. Now, what's really awesome about this is the fact that Treyarch really knows how to market these types of things, which is why I believe that it is. Treyarch's hidden a lot of things, hidden codes in, like, their jackets and stuff that they've worn, like... Like, I think it was a pre-order exclusive for this game. There was a certain type of sweatshirt, and in that certain type of sweatshirt, they had, like, this these ancient symbols or whatever, and it turns out those were, like, an actual language or something, and that was a uh, location for uh, something else I forgot, or that's how Nuketown got discovered. I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, the point is... <laughs> Treyarch is really good at hiding things inside of other things to build hype for the things that are coming. And the internet is really good on feeding into that. So what's really cool about this is how they did it. And I guess that's what I'm trying to explain about here. Um, but yes, I do think it's going to be hijacked based on all the information that we've had. Um, there is a big amount of space between construction and town. Um, so if you guys aren't familiar with hijacked by the way i'll throw i'll go ahead and throw up some images here of the old map so quick rundown of hijacked it's bo2 it's a map from bo2 it's a yacht and if you guys haven't seen that before or you don't know about it you know like i said the images were back there but it's a yacht it's about the size of nuketown and it is pretty fun now the reason i'm explaining that is because i know that there's a lot of new players that this is like their first cod now if anybody older has been playing cod like really think about safety. that really wrap your head around some people got into cod when it was only boost jumping so this is their first time being on the ground and it is actually abnormal for them that in itself is crazy because i've been playing call of duty since like modern warfare so the idea that somebody doesn't know these iconic maps is crazy so i can't wait for the excitement of the of the people that are going to be playing it that's brand new for them that they haven't seen it and the nostalgia for the people that have been playing it that have been playing this game for years it's going to be pretty dope now the only thing i can think about personally that i think would be a bad for this map location is the fact that it's in the water and you move so slow in the water that if they're on land and they're able to see you you might be sniped you know a couple of times or you might be picked apart so it's going to be really interesting although if I remember correctly, there's a spawn for a helicopter in the back. Like, not that it spawned helicopters, but there's a helipad in the back. So, potentially, there might be boats in the back. Um, there might be a helipad in the back. So, there'll be ways for you guys to get there faster. So, I think that'll be pretty dope. Um, it'll be, it, it, like I said, it'll be pretty fun. And I can't wait to see that. And if they add any characters or anything like it. I think next week's update, uh, the update on uh, December 11th, is probably going to be one of the bigger updates. Now, what I do hope, though, is that it's... Uh, you know, it, it's something that doesn't zone. get held off for too long. Because if they... It, I, I just... I'm hoping that Xbox users get it. And since it's an update, I think they will. And that's not a problem. But, you know, you never know when it comes to certain things. I, I think it's just a regular update nothing to worry about about that but there was a uh, um we're not going to talk about it in this video or i'm not going to bring it up but there was some other leaks about dlc one i'm not sure if those were confirmed or rumored but there was some pretty good uh character examples so in the last update i uh, a lot of people uh, it's show, showing up the dlc one zombie characters and that's what i had seen i don't know if they found anything else out in those if there was any dlc weapons or anything like that but there were some DLC uh, zombie characters that were a little bit different. Um, so I can't wait to see what the zombies maps hold. Can't wait to see what DLC 1 holds because, you know, around this time, um, I can definitely think that their release window for a DLC might be a little bit sooner based on the fact that um, the game came out in October. Uh, <laughs> so I had to... Actually, I don't know if it was... Yeah, yeah, I, I got it mixed up with my friend the other day because it was just November and October. It's so different for them to release a literal month earlier. Um, but I'm not positive on if they're going to be releasing that in 
December or if they're going to go ahead and wait till January. Um, so yeah, I'm not exactly positive if, uh, when they're going to release that based on the fact that the re re release window should be short based on the fact that the game got released a little bit earlier. But if you guys have anything to say, if you guys have any ideas, if you guys have any ideas for any that could be bad. Inside of like could there be jungle at one point? You know, there's that big open area of green up top at the top of the map. Could they change that into a jungle-esque type area? Who knows? Uh WMD, that's a Black Ops map. You know, could they add a snowy area? I don't think they would add it any if they didn't add it this month, I don't think they would add it, but you know, these are potential possibilities that could be added. And, you know, Treyarch is like the king of snow maps. So it's it's possible, man. Anything is possible when it comes to this game. And, uh, the like, especially with Blackout, the opportunities are endless. But if you guys have any map location that you guys are actually interested in seeing in Blackout, I'd love to hear it down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys click that sub button along with that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.